Pushing forward. Snipe eel. Let's get his head. A snipe eel. Yes? Go ahead. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's Avocetina. Uh, Avocetina infant. It, uh, it uses those two, it, it's almost strictly a, a shrimp eater, and the theory is it uses those two um, basically occlusable beaks. They're, they're actually studded with little hooks like, uh, like Velcro, and hypothetically they snag the antennae of shrimp using those uh, occlusable jaws, non-occlusable sure. jaws. That's just a brilliant image. That's just a wonderful fish. <laughs> Not gonna reflect. Did I, Tracy? Did I get the common name right? Snipe eel. There you go. Oh, okay. Snipe eel is correct. That's pretty long, huh? Yeah. And uh, this is uh, we don't normally see them just sitting in midwater. When we, wherever we oh, would man, see these with the giant ceiling, they always look like they were <laughs> for an appointment. Look at that. There so you it's, go. it's nice. amazing <laughs> they're see splayed the out in the again? water yeah, columns. Yeah, and they'll probably just There's undulate that anal fin just right. a little. bit. Keep their position great, but okay. it doesn't look like it's bothered by the ROV even a little. That's amazing. Look at that. And the only, uh, to tell you the truth, the only reason I know that was because of the 1950s and 60s Life magazine compilation called The World We Live, which had a big fold out of, of open ocean marine life from sperm whales down to anglerfish. And they had a snipe eel, yeah. although it didn't right. look like Let's it. Let's let him go. All right. Quite go ahead, Don. I'll get the uh, lights so. up. Yep. 